Inventory continues to climb, but the predictive indicators point to continued housing market growth this week. I'm Tony with Clarkson Santoro, and this is our real estate update for the week of Friday, May 17th. We know that selling or buying a home can be very stressful and confusing. That's why we do these weekly videos so that you can know how the market is affecting your options as a home seller or buyer. Let's take a look at how the market performed this week. There are now 43 homes on the market, which is up from the 34 homes we had on the market last week. The average asking price of those homes is $2,092,000, which is slightly lower than the average asking price of last week's $2,143,000. Eight homes went pending this week, which is more than last week's five, and the average asking price of those pending homes is up significantly to $2,252,000, up from the $1,989 million that we had last week. And the same amount of homes closed this week as last week, with an average sales price of $2,315,000, which is less than the average at sale price of last week's $2,435,000. So now that we have looked at how the market performed this past week, we can look at the broader trends that help us in, uh, determine where the market might be heading. But before we look at those trends, if you find this information helpful, you can subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates. And why not share it with a friend as well? That way they deserve, because they deserve to be in the know about their local market also. All right, let's take a look at those uh, broader market indicators. Starting with the inventory, it is now at the highest level it has been since October of 2022. Now, that doesn't mean that inventory is actually that high. In fact, prior to the insanity of the past few years, uh, a normal market inventory level is right between that 40 and 50 mark. Uh, but it is notable since inventory has doubled in the past three weeks. Um, there are much fewer homes listed as coming soon now, so this bump in inventory could be temporary. We'll see how it goes in the next few weeks. With inventory climbing, it's not a surprise to see that the turnover rate came down. We are now sitting at one, mo uh, one month turnover rate, which is what we consider to be a normal inventory turnover rate for San Ramon. That means every one home on the market, uh, for every one home on the market, one has gone pending in the past month. That means we will likely be uh, seeing less bidding wars and sales prices closer to the original list price in the next few weeks. Knowing that the previous two indicators are coming down can lead us to expect that the over-under metric will also be coming down soon as well. But since it is a lagging indicator, it is still showing signs of improvement. Um, this week, homes are still closing at about 100,000 over the asking price and will likely be at that level for the next couple of weeks. But I do expect this number to come down when the current recent pending homes Start to, uh, start to close next month. Average sales price is going to perform similarly to the over-under numbers. It is still on that up, upward trajectory um, as the 30-day rolling average closing price has now reached $2,255,000 this week. That is nearly 20% increase from last year. Uh, these prices will likely come down over the next few weeks, but I anticipate more of a plateau than a significant decrease in value. The Triple Q Fund continued the upward rebound that we saw last week, um, it, and it is now up 7% over the past two weeks after falling about 12% over the previous few weeks. Whenever there is growth in the stock market, it increases our local buyer's ability to afford a larger down payment and therefore increases buyer confidence. Pair that with the lower interest rates, uh, pairing that with the lower interest rates means that despite the recent bump in inventory, we could still see a robust market for the next few months. And the interest rates did come down slightly this week as, um, as well. They didn't move much, but they are down seven basis points. Any movement towards a sub seven towards a seven, sub seven percent interest rate is good movement. It still is sitting above seven percent at the moment. 
It will be interesting to see how the new inventory affects buyers. If their money can start going further, there are more options to choose from. We could see the market bounce back very quickly from this uh, slow past couple of weeks. Basically, this week felt like the return of a normal summer market. The inventory starts to pick up and bidding wars tend to slow down right around the end of the school year historically, which is what we are seeing now. The three things to keep an eye on are that the inventory and subsequent turnover rate, what they do, how the Triple Q fund continues to perform, and if the interest rates continue to come down. Right now, the inventory levels and turnover rates seem to be in conflict with the direction of the stock market and interest rates. Usually, when the latter are performing well, the former perform equally well. It will be interesting to see if the increase in the inventory is just a temporary setback or setting up a trend that, we'll see, uh, that we will see for the remainder of the upcoming summer. Thank you for joining me for this weekly update. I hope it helps you understand how our market is impacting your options. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay informed on how this market continues to shape up this year. And if you have any questions about how you can navigate the stressful and confusing process of selling or buying, leave a comment down below or reach out to us, uh, reach out to us directly. We're here to help guide you every step of the way. Have a safe weekend and we'll see you next week with a new update.